Okay, uh, let me start. Uh, so good evening everyone. So we will be looking at uh, string methods and then uh, map filter and edges functions in Python are uh, using lambda and then there is very simple one simple exercise uh, like uh, even or odd uh, how to find out. So let me share my screen. So yeah so normally uh, when we uh, take the input as a string uh, generally we ask uh, users as uh, inputs right so that uh, I meant to say the data type will be string but uh, but in the string uh, we need to do certain modifications right if uh, someone we have to perform some calculations on uh, that need to be converted to uh, integer type or float type depending on uh, what, what is the need of the project we are doing uh, something like we have seen already in a tip calculator uh, we have converted few of the values to uh, int and few of them are to float similarly but before uh, converting that but if user enters a wrong data or if users uh, enter uh, enter a data but we need only his last name or his first name uh, by uh, splitting it out or by removing uh, extra characters if, if it is not needed if, if uh, spaces are added how to remove that so instead of doing again uh, uh, we have certain functions like uh, in uh, string methods we will be using certain I meant to say these are the functions methods we call it as uh, going forward we will see what is method and what is uh, functions uh, functions are methods are nothing but functions but uh, those are defined in classes uh, maybe once we go into the uh, oops concepts then we will uh, refer to that uh, but generally it's like the function we will be applying on the strings what we are doing so if you see here few of the uh, I meant to say methods we have listed here so I want uh, how much the length of the string uh, we have added so if user uh, like uh, so if you want to check only this much length is uh, uh, I meant to say if you are uh, according uh, two digit numbers so user should be able to enter only two digits right so if it is so at that guy at that uh, case if you want to check the length what the user is entering then this function will be very handy for you so similar to that if you want to uh, like I meant to say uh, all the uh, strings whatever the character center to upper case or lower case and then we have strip function which will remove all the way uh, leading and uh, uh, tiling white spaces and we have is alpha numeric or is alpha uh, like uh, uh, to check uh, the data type actually instead of directly you are converting uh, first uh, better to check uh, using this functions and then uh, we can do like uh, uh, to do the uh, process so if user at a wrong data but uh, I, that should be only uh, characters right like uh, numbers I meant to say so in that case uh, this uh, function is very useful is it so sorry okay so I may be split it out but here uh, multiple uh, conditions we will be seeing uh, so to find a substring or to replace uh, one one data with another data like uh, to replace something uh, you want to replace a with e whatever uh, uh, I meant to say whatever the occurrences uh, there it, it will be replaced like it will starts with uh, so th uh, there is um, multiple use cases we can think of so if you are reading a uh, some article and you want all the uh, word starting with some uh, maybe uh, some ad or something uh, so we can actually uh, use this function so that it will return all the uh, values with that uh, 
I meant to say, with just starting with the tone, what you are giving. So uh, uh, these are the normal main functions I meant to say, but we have another functions also in string uh, strings like uh, if we go to uh, like strip function there are uh, other two functions uh, like uh, uh, r strip and l strip like uh, right strip and left strip uh, so yeah. so better uh, you will going uh, try to google it or uh, try to ask uh, pod or uh, bing uh, what are the all the string methods available so here is a like visual representation I want to say. Yeah. So uh, let us take few few of the examples like I want to say. Yeah, okay, I'm asking my name. Uh, name. Print. Uh, my servant. Okay. Name dot lawyer so what I'm doing in the string method I'm calling uh, so the output should be one way around So when I enter, it should uh, display my name is Monitors. Right. So it uh, is converting uh, the string language. So it is converting to lower the similar way, it will uh, convert it. And it's like uh, capitalized, like it will only uh, capitalize the starting value. So again, I, I said right, multiple, multiple uh, values will be there, like multiple functions will be there. Title maybe it's uh, like. Uh, so if you have given words, two words, I think it will return only one word. So now I want to run again. Now I will be keeping. It is returning everything. Hello world. Okay, yeah. uh, so what is function? So maybe we need to ask what I will be asking by title function title method. So it's like camel case, uh, I meant to say. So it is threatening all the words with capitals for starting. Okay. I will again test this out. Giving. AI spin. Cool. 
so what are the words it is giving it is actually uh, if you see the word starting is uh, getting into uh, oh, capital letters so it's like uh, best camel case you don't need to again uh, do that So uh, here is numeric. Uh, I mean to say, okay. Uh, let me again print name. Is digit right? You will use numeric. Also is digit also fine. So let me run again. So uh, I am entering uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, with some letters, see, so it should return as false. Yeah. So if I run it again, uh, with entering one, two, three. Okay. If you see, so it is able to distinguish if it is only uh, numeric or it is actually alphanumeric. If it is only numeric, then it is returning true. So this way we actually do the conditionings. So this is very useful methods uh, you can say in string uh, methods in python is string methods in python very useful like just is a representation but we uh, you need to go through multiple string methods i i will be sharing one link uh, to say uh, there will be 31 methods in strings uh, we have to get uh, we never know at which uh, i meant to say which okay. so which method when when to use so depending on the I mean to say program you, you will be using uh, it is a good uh, so this one of the article I have seen but uh, So uh, this will give you like uh, I to say I will be sharing the okay my antivirus now coming back So any questions in this method, so like string methods. So so before going to like convert and examples. So uh, we are we have already used in some of the programs so where we are then uh, accessing uh, string access, right? Uh, Generally, we accessed, uh, but uh, we have somewhere used already this uh, one of the methods. If you go through, and then if not, uh, let me know if any questions. Uh, happy to ask. So that uh, is not opening up. So now it's time for another like uh, these are the again high level functions uh, like I meant to say high order functions you can see high order functions not high order functions. Uh, so this map is actually we have already seen right uh, in the lambdas what we have discussed. So here also we, we will be discussing in conjunction with lambdas following. Uh, so map is already we have seen so it is like uh, implementation of that function 
to all the numbers uh, all the numbers or all the uh, this in a list in a list or actually like uh, tribles like what we have seen already lists uh, tuples and sets right uh, like uh, those are collection of uh, objects I mean to say sequence type so if we see here uh, numbers we have one two three four numbers so we are implementing square uh, this example you have already seen so in map what it does it actually implements everything like squaring of numbers to all the I want to say in uh, to all the objects inside the list it will apply I mean each element uh, objects we can call it object also so similarly uh, the next method is uh, filter method so in filter method if you have uh, oh sorry reduce uh, I will use filter now. Filter first. So filter will be something uh, similar kind of uh, uh, map function only. But uh, what happens? It returns only if the condition is uh, getting satisfied. So here, uh, uh, what we are doing? We are doing a uh, uh, modulus operation equal to equal to zero. So it is like when we divide, the remainder should be equal to zero. So this function, lambda, lambda is like a single uh, evaluation function. So it will, it should return as only two four. It will be applying uh, this function to all these numbers, but only if this condition is getting satisfied, then only it returns. So it will actually filtering only the true conditions. So if we take this example again, by the, by the actually I am using yeah. uh, PyCharm as my new editor. Uh, so this is a community edition, you can also use it. Like, uh, this is actually downloaded for only for Python programming, uh, PyCharm. Mm -hmm. So it is very useful, like all the extensions will be there. So if I run this program, so we will be getting this. So what if you want, I want odd numbers, uh, for example, if not equal to, just I, I changed my condition so that only the uh, condition satisfying this uh, not equal to I have kept so the remainder should not not equal to zero then if I want so I got all the so it, uh, th these are very useful when you are applying uh, some scenarios uh, and we want only in that uh, type of uh, yeah. elements mm -hmm. uh, so the filter function is very useful uh, to get only the desired output mm -hmm. I mean to see instead of you filtering afterwards uh, by applying some uh, if condition if else conditions uh, mm -hmm. this is actually straightforward approach so and then again uh, so the filter and then the last one is like reduce reduce is nothing but uh, so if you want to do cumulative operation on these numbers so it's like uh, uh, I want 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so and my indexing uh, starts with from here so 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 4 15 so something this type kind of operation you have to perform on cumulative operations then reduce uh, is the best uh, uh, function you can play so 
so it's like if you, uh, in going forward uh, in data frames if you want to do something uh, on the data frame continuously or so th that we will see once we go to that pandas data frames so because uh, uh, we uh, we mainly are we, we are extensively using that uh, in our uh, I mean to say in our working uh, projects this reduce function where we need to do multiple times and sequencing of so once you do something to a uh, to this uh, element then you have to do this plus this like oh uh, element what it is done or uh, maybe application like a uh, squaring or uh, addition or uh, I meant to say doing a uh, joints or something uh, in data frames I'm saying so so it's like cumulative addition so first the first whatever uh, done it will be saved uh, at that uh, I meant to say at that and then it will uh, again uh, do the next one like it's like uh, up to here one plus two so that will be stored as uh, three and then it will go to the next element so if I again see this example So, uh, so th uh, that's the advantage of I meant to say IDE. So, what it is saying? So, the output you have to give int. I mean to say, because But again, uh, this may be giving some uh, suggestions also. Um, so shadows, multi names, some. Uh -huh. Maybe keyword. So last time when we actually not type casted it right, uh, it actually did. Let me see how the reduce also works. Okay, reduce is not having any issues. So because we are adding, but if you use map and uh, filter right, it will. If you don't convert them into back to list, it will it will give you the object a map object filter object something like that when you're trying to print the variable so similarly here so this is uh, a visual representation you can you see this so it's like lambdas but like all the three cases uh, the same so any questions here so before we go to the exercise a simple one today uh, so it's like already we <laughs> we are seeing implementation Let me know in case of any questions, uh, otherwise we will go for it. Am I audible, right? Uh, sorry, if you just for... Yes, yes, we are audible. Okay. 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 So
so then okay today exercise is like very simple one so we have to write a program uh, so whether whatever we give it uh, I meant to say we will ask the user input and uh, it should give us it's a even number or odd number so th these are the like conditions like even numbers divided by 2 so if uh, it will be 43 uh, but if it is divided by 2 odd numbers there should be a decimal places so uh, so instead of using a division operator we can do with division operator also like uh, if it is int or float something like that we can try but uh, instead of that we can directly use this one modulus operator which will give us the uh, reminder instead of question uh, we will get the reminder so here uh, what what they are saying uh, output format should match exactly so it's like even the position of commas or full stop should match exactly like if 43 is given uh, this is an odd number a uh, full stop and if this is uh, is given so, uh, so I am writing here after creating another Python file. So, odd even. So again, I'm going back my to question. So write a programming whether if, if a given number is odd or even. So first thing is like again, we need to ask input. Input. Enter. Enter a number. So here we will store it uh, under number equal to simple right so if I run it it will ask for number enter number so it is done so what I want it in new line my cursor should go now that's the first simple one so now it's like now we need to do the conditionings here so how we need to do like so so uh, our understanding should be when uh, they, they have already given so even numbers when divided by two it will uh, give us uh, some numeric uh, quotient I meant to say with no reminder no reminder in the sense it will give us some uh, a zero value like if it is divided by 2 the remainder is zero right so it's basic mathematics but here how we will be handling so here the concepts we are using is uh, like conditioning uh, like if else conditions we have discussed already so if number modulus 2 equal to 0 so what I am doing I am taking the number but again because here it is number right we need to convert I forgot that step so the input always uh, whatever the user enters it will be string only but we need to convert it explicitly depending on the our requirement so here our requirement is number so number will, would be always into and here we are uh, order even right we are not uh, depending on uh, decimals here 
so for order even all the digits uh, everything should be in integers only not any floating points uh, we can't say it is either order even so what uh, if the remainder is equal to zero then i am print so they want the same stop there I'm stopping from here and pasting it here sorry equal to the zero means it is even number right So even you can uh, give else if, but uh, there is will be two conditions only, either zero or not equal to zero, right? Else, so we are not giving any condition. print odd num so if i going to test this out so i am giving first my 23 this is an odd number now again i am going to test this 34 so this is an even number So as similar. So he here the main concepts we're using is if conditioning uh, statements and then type type casting and then operator assignment operator or equal to operator I mean to say and then print statements. Even you can uh, give like a dot for the this is an even number or you can modify this as. So user should be knowing right what uh, what the uh, what user is entering. So now again if I test it out. So twelve twelve is an event number. Twenty five. Twenty five is an odd number. Yeah. Uh, as simple as that so you can try it, uh, writing uh, more uh, I meant to say you can use instead of you know, converting directly type casting here uh, you can use uh, is numeric whatever we discussed today uh, and then after that uh, after that condition satisfying then you can do this all these operations So for today, this uh, this much we are having, but uh, just go through the all the string methods. Uh, I mean, this is string methods are very important going forward. We might use it uh, very extensively in going classes. So it is better to know all the. So maybe tomorrow we'll meet with another topic. Maybe Tata might 
we'll be taking some other uh, session we'll let you know on the charts any questions yeah no sir so i hope everyone is uploading their exercises to github so so if not please do it now so then thank you i will be sharing that yeah thank you